Welcome to Movement Monday. This will be your first Movement Monday newsletter amongst the many that you will receive this year. And I am excited to share these with you as these are exercises that we're doing constantly in the clinic and I think that they would benefit everybody. So let's get started. This week's Movement Monday is going to be learning about the foam roller and how to use it. We can use it for all different areas of the body. We can use it before a workout, we can use it after a workout, or on days that we're not working out at all. But it is a necessity in the home of those of you who move daily, which is everybody. So go and get yourself one if you don't own a foam roller. All right, the foam roller exercise that we're gonna show you for this week is gonna have to do with the upper back since most of us are working at a computer more often now than we have been in probably the last decade. So we're gonna take the foam roller and we're gonna place it from head to tailbone and then we're gonna open up our arms to stretch out our pecs. So let's go ahead and lay down on the foam roller. Make sure you can get on here safely and then we're going to lay with our arms out to the side and our chest to the ceiling. Now, you notice my buns, my torso, and my head are all on a foam roller, so I should be feeling a stretch across the pecs. This is great for those of us who are forward or driving or texting often. So we're gonna hold this for roughly 30 seconds to a minute, depending on when you start to feel like your chest muscles are loosening up. All right. Now we've opened up the chest. We are going to move on to the next piece of this chest opener. So we're going to get ourselves on the foam roller in the exact same position. So foam roller is going to go under your tail and under your head. We're going to bring our arms up to a goalpost position, making sure that all parts of our spine are touching the foam roller. So we don't want to have this space here. We want to be down against the foam roller. So we're going to go into the goal post position. And from here, trying to get our entire forearm against the ground. If you can, great. If you can't, something to work on. We're going to drag this up overhead and come back down. Again, this is a great opener for the pec, given that the pec muscle looks like a fan on your chest. So we need to make sure that we're stretching out all portions of the pec muscle and not just one particular area. You can straighten your arms out and you can do this like a snow angel, but I prefer the goal pose because it takes the pressure off the bicep muscle and some of us have some bicep issues. So keeping the elbows bent is gonna save the biceps, but it's still gonna stretch out the pecs in a really nice, safe position. Go ahead and try 10 of these or until you feel like you've loosened up a little bit. All right, to give you guys one last thoracic or upper body opener for this week's Movement Monday, we wanna make sure that on top of opening up the shoulders that we actually open up the middle of the back. Again, with our posture being here, we notice lots of tightness happening here. This round, this rounded thoracic spine is just getting rounder and rounder as we get closer and closer to the computer. So we need to reverse that action and open up through here. So again, grab your foam roller. This time you're gonna put the foam roller perpendicular to the spine. So it's gonna go right across the bra strap here. And then as we lay back on it, we're gonna take our hands, clasp them behind the base of our skull and bring the elbows inward. This protects the neck so that we can let the body, upper body relax up over the foam roller. From here, keeping the knees bent. So notice this position is going to help save my low back. If I'm here, I can arch through my low back and then I'm not stretching my upper back. So we're going to put the feet flat, bring the elbows in, and we're just going to extend up over the top of the foam roller. Take a couple of deep breaths here. And then we're going to move the foam roller up our spine just a little bit. So we roll ourselves down, repeat the process. Clasp hands, close the elbows, extend up over the top. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Good, 
And we're going to continue this process until we get close to the top of the shoulder or the base of the neck. We do not want to do the base of the neck, but we can get fairly close. Extend up over the top. Awesome. You'll notice that as you get closer to the base of the neck, you have a little bit less extension. That's very normal. If you hear pops and cracks as you're doing this, that's also very normal. It's just things moving that need to move. If you struggle to take a deep breath while you're in the extension position, it just means that the tissue in the area or even your abdominal tissue is not pliable enough to allow you that capacity to breathe, which means that we need to make sure we work on that because those muscles tightening up are gonna pull on the joints and tighten you up more which lends us to this forward head posture and this curved upper back. So as many openers as you can do a day are gonna be extremely beneficial for us while we're sitting at home working at the computer. I hope everybody's safe and healthy and please send this video to anybody that you think needs help opening up the chest or has any neck or upper back pain that they're dealing with. And I hope to see you guys next Monday.